What's up guys and welcome back to our interview at &E series in DW 2016. We're at our 15th show, our third, I suppose fourth big show if you count the Terry Funk Memorial. Also, last time out this show here, NW at &E 14, our best show ever. Uh, so I was pretty hyped about that. What was it? Did one of them make our best match? Uh, our best match? No. Best match is still RVD versus Kaz Hayashi. Oh, what a legendary match. And we got number three, foe. Number three was that big six man tag. So hopefully our main event gets us over that limit tonight. So we've got quite a big show tonight. I've written down everything that I want to do. So we're going to jump straight into it. First of all, I want to check that someone will agree to lose to someone. Come on, Kevin, you know you want to. Okay, rearranging the card is fun. Let's keep strong. There we go. Always fun to having to work around someone who refused to lose. Team title match, which is going to be America's Most Wanted and Triple X. Wait, oh, I need to borrow the titles, don't I? Derp. Lines titles. Borrow and borrow. Try that. See if <laughs> will they get to keep their titles this time, or will we get screwed over by Japan? We'll just have to wait and see. Then we've got our X Division title match. I'm gonna give quite a while to AJ's gonna win. I'll oh, get over yourself, psychosis. go. Then we want to have just a normal singles match between Steve Carino and Tommy Dreamer. Carino getting a tainted win. And finally our main event. Oh boy. Oh boy oh boy. For the NWA world title. A long match. The winner is going to be oh, RVD. Oh yeah, he's finally winning the big match. Better not make it. I don't think Hogan will take a decisive loss to RVD. Nope. Nope. Wait, no, Hogan. You can shove it up your butt. <laughs> Quite frankly. Yeah, that's. That's literally all I can offer you. Uh, I think Mickey J is our best ref. Ricky Steamboat, yeah. There we go. Oh, I don't care Hogan's going to complain. Tough crap. Storytelling and high spots. I don't want to make this storytelling. Um, hmm. We make that a wild brawl. 
can make this storytelling, I guess. I could work out well. Okay, I forgot what that is. No, actually. I suppose it needs to be steal the show, and that means to be a shorter match, so I guess we're getting an extra bonus match. Hooray! Featuring Kazayashi. Because if there's anyone that can steal the show, you better believe it's goddamn Kazayashi. Hair Paris. If this doesn't steal the show, I don't know what will. Steal the show via pinfall. There we go. We need angles. So we're going to have post-match, RVD is going to celebrate with his new world title. He's going to be like, yay, I did it. Yay! And um, we're gonna have a maybe a hype video before their match. That could be fun. And uh, maybe a promo. Oh no, I did. I did have a freestyle angle I want to do. I want to have the logical conclusion of the amazing battle of the boogie storyline. You better believe it's a goddamn dance off. Dance off between Cat and Disco. And uh, who will win? Uh, Cat. Oh, so that's a that's a defeat and that's a big success. Oh man, what a show! I mean, let's run the show and see what we get. Very nervous about this. We are in the Midwest. I can't want to be in the southeast, so I know I'll get good ratings. So we're gonna go there. Why not? We're in Flowers Hall in Alabama, which is in. Florence, Alabama. There we go. Let's run the show. Oh, I'm already nervous. And I bet they had great wrestling and a decent reaction from the crowd. Kaz defeats Air Paris, getting a 71C plus. Very nice. Then in about they had decent wrestling but not much heat. Uh, AMW defeated Triple X to win the NWA World Tag Team titles, getting a 53. C minus, not bad. Nash. Uh, lost to Ken Shamrock by submission with the ankle lock. Getting a 58 C minus. Disco and Cat uh, had a dance off, and uh, the Cat wins. Then in our X Division title match, AJ Styles wins, making defense number five of his X Division title, which is pretty good. Getting a 61 C. Pretty happy about 76 in ring performance for AJ. Holy crap! Uh, good heat and decent wrestling. Monty Brown defeats Jeff Jarrett by pinfall with a pads. Can a 59C. There goes that main event. I'm very excited. Carino defeats Tommy Dreamer in 1222 by pinfall with a handful of tights. Oh, boo, hiss, etc. Video plays hyping Hogan versus RVD. Can a 73B minus. I'm so scared pressing this next segment button. Oh, I bet they had fantastic heat and great wrestling. RVD defeats Hollywood Hogan in 2012 by pinfall with a frog splash and he wins the NWA World Heavyweight title in a 72 in ring performance. Very nice. RVD wins in a 71 C plus, which in total gives us a 65 C in our popularity up in six regions. Very nice. And here's the Jiro Matsui, who is apparently from UWFI. Oh my god, my throat's beginning to get really rough. But yeah, that's it. I think that might be I think that might be like our best show we've ever run. Is Hogan gonna quit now because we had him lose a match? He thinks we should get rid of Daniels and Nash thinks we should get rid of Chris Harris. Psychosis is tired. Uh, let's have a look at um, where's that? So that's our fifth best event. That's not bad. In terms of matches, 
Uh, nothing in our top 10. Oh wait, no, except this match here is number two. Let's look down here. There we go. So we did some pretty decent matches on that show. Our highest attendance ever, which is pretty good. Still no pay-per-view buy rates, obviously, because we're too... Are we still too small? Yeah, we have three options. Soon, Jersey Pro, Pro Wrestling. I feel like they're. I feel like they're going to be our next company we buy out and take all their talent. Because look, they're in debt. But they're not bad enough in debt yet. Soon, Pro. coming for you, and I'm going to take all your popular popularity. So they're fairly free there, and what are we? 20. So that would be quite useful because that is a more important region. Because if you look at our southwest popularity, it is 34, but it's only 29 importance. And importance is what we need to get that cult status. But anyway, yeah, that'll do it for this episode. So there we go. RVD, the new NWA World's Heavyweight Champion. Oh man, that, that's a cool, that's cool. Our World Tag Team Champions for the second time. America's Most Wanted. Our and AJ Styles, still the only man to ever be our um, X Division Champion. He's held since May all the way through to August, so this is his third month now. We're about to go into his fourth month of being X Division Champion. Oh, when's he ever going to lose it? Who knows? I don't. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, give a like. If you want to see other stuff I do, hit subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.